<laughs> my daughter is trying to steal my green juice. This is mine, I've waited all day for it. I just finished a 10 day Mary's mini potato challenge and what I learned surprised me. But first, let me tell you what a Mary's mini is so that you actually know what I'm talking about. Mary and John McDougall are famous for their McDougall program, or basically a program where you can lose a lot of weight by eating half non-starchy vegetables and half starchy vegetables. They also wrote a book called The Starch Solution that shows how it's important to not just eat vegetables, but to include starches so that you feel full and satisfied. But if you do it in a way where half of your plate is vegetables, half of your plate is starch, then you can lose weight sustainably while also eating a plant-based diet. Now, their program works, but it's not the quick lose weight fast type of fad diet that you often see. And sometimes we wanna lose weight quick. <laughs> and so that is where Mary's Mini came into plan. Mary decided to establish a mini 10 day program where you're forced to eat the basics. Super simple for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now there's a couple different ways you can do it. Number one, you choose your starch and you're going to stick with that starch for 10 days. I chose potatoes and I ate potatoes for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner for 10 days. That's what kept me full, that's what kept me satisfied. Now, if you don't like potatoes, you can always choose rice, you can choose oatmeal, you can choose any type of starch. I just love that you can make potatoes into a variety of things, so it made it a little bit easier to add more variety into my life when you're eating the same thing over and over and over again. Now, along with eating starch, you can also eat a variety of different vegetables, mostly to focus on the yellow and green vegetables, but you can add in any type Type of variety as long as it fits in those non-starchy vegetables. And lastly, the updated version of a Mary's Mini lets you have one fruit a day. And let me tell you, that was the best part of the day when I could eat one fruit. It was heavenly. <laughs> After hearing about a Mary's Mini for years, I finally decided to try it for myself. And what I learned surprised me. And there are five things that I wanna share with you of what really shocked me about actually doing this challenge for myself. But first, I wanna show you what my food actually looked like day in and day out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner so you have a better idea. So without further ado, here's what I ate for 10 days. It is day one of my 10 day mini Mary challenge. And last night I put a bunch of potatoes in the Instant Pot to cook so that I am good to go. So this morning for the first day, instead of my delicious oatmeal breakfast, I'm going to have potatoes and broccoli. For the sauce, I use, you need something, right? So I use the mambo sauce just to give some flavor and then everything but the bagel seasoning for the potatoes. Now you can see why people lose weight on a diet like this because this huge meal that will totally fill me up is about 200 calories. This is right after my workout this morning. I am actually surprised how good this is. Does it have vegetables? Yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Turns out I'm sharing my breakfast. Okay, this is lunch. It's zucchini with some nutritional yeast and then another potato, this time with just crushed tomatoes, garlic powder, and nutritional yeast. Dinner is french fries with green beans and a balsamic vinegar dressing. Now on the updated Mary's Mini, she allows you one fruit. So I use some pineapple and a little bit of orange juice to make this green smoothie. It's just one serving and it is delicious after just having potatoes all day. It is day two and I can tell you I'm shocked at how full I am from the most simple foods. It's definitely challenging mentally to not choose and eat all the foods that are available, but I'm not going hungry, which is great. So here's an example. This is what I'm eating for breakfast on day two. I have a huge plate of broccoli and I made some potato fries all in my air fryer. And then this is just that mambo sauce. It's just a slightly sweet sauce that goes along with it. All right, here's my lunch today. It is hash browns with some squash. Super filling, delicious. Hey, dinner is air fried potatoes with asparagus, mushrooms, and some red peppers. My fruit in the form of green juice. Day three breakfast is leftovers. Lunch today is a big salad with potatoes, and then I use this dressing from Trader Joe's. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I'm on day three now of the Mini Mary, and honestly, I miss my sweets. Carrots have been filling that need because you can only have one fruit a day. When I'm like, oh, I crave some of these sweets, I've just been eating a carrot, and it has been helping curb that sweet tooth. 
nice dinner. More air fried potatoes with a mix of cooked veggies that we had uh, with salsa on top. Breakfast for day four. This time we're gonna have it with some salsa. And then I made some extras for snacks later on. So it's day four of the Mini Mary and you can have one fruit a day. And I've usually just been doing like a my green juice that has fruit in it, but today, I grabbed some blueberries and even some raspberries. Can I tell you, they are delicious. I think when you've kind of not eaten all the other foods and then all of a sudden you eat fruit again, you're like, this is the most delicious thing on the planet. Like it was so good and hit the spot. Fruit's amazing. I'm so glad that they updated the Mini Mary so you can have fruit. But also I wanna show you my lunch for today. So I have the yellow squash and then zucchini and then some more potatoes. And what made it really yummy this time was this orange ginger marmalade. It's really good. These are potato-based falafels with tomato and cucumber salad and homemade vegan tzatziki sauce. I really needed to mix things up. So my kids are having regular falafels and I'm having the potato version. It is day five and I just did a super heavy lifting workout. And so even though peas are technically starchy vegetables, I decided to add them in because I wanted a little bit more protein in my breakfast. So this is the leftover yogurt dill dressing that I made yesterday and just potatoes and peas and mushrooms. I'm in my car running to the next thing and I did not have time to grab food. So I literally packed a potato. I had cooked it in the microwave this morning. So it is ready to go if I'm absolutely starving. I burned my breakfast. It's still kind of good though. Breakfast is potato with some broccoli sprouts, a marinara sauce, a bunch of veggies. For my fruit today, I chose grapes and I had a big, this was nice and big and full. I've just been snacking on them like one at a time through the day and I love that. I made some tofu alfredo for my kids. And then I'm using some of the leftover sauce for my veggies and potatoes. Potatoes and veggies with tofu alfredo sauce. Potatoes and veggies at the church party. <laughs> On our way to school, I forgot to grab breakfast, so I quickly microwaved a potato. Eating it without any seasoning is actually pretty good. My breakfast. I'm on the potato. <laughs> I got sick of eating the same thing over and over again, so I just made a big soup with potatoes and all the veggies in my fridge. A leftover soup for breakfast. I think I'm gonna be eating this all day because I have tons left over, but it's just so easy. It was so nice to make a big batch yesterday, and now I have it for a couple of days. Also, soup and work. More soup with broccoli sprouts this time. Just veggies, potatoes, veggie broth. I've had soup most days lately which is easy to have already. I can put all these veggies in there, no big deal. And now it's time to put the veggies in. As you can see, what helped get me through this 10 day challenge was variety. Using the air fryer for the potatoes, doing mashed potatoes, making potatoes into balls, adding different spices, adding different flavors. And lastly, soup was my savior at the end because I was just sick of cooking potatoes in general and making a huge batch of soup saved me. So here are the five lessons that I learned after doing a Mary's mini. Number one, you are so full. Like I was surprised how full I was. In fact, there were days that I actually skipped lunch, which I don't suggest because then I was starving for dinner, but because I was so full off of like two potatoes and vegetables. It's amazing how satiating potatoes are. The second thing I learned was how easy it was to actually lose weight. To me, it's mind boggling. In the past, it's actually been difficult for me to lose weight because I'm at a really good body weight as it is. And so to fluctuate past that, it takes a lot of work. But within just a couple days, I was already seeing the scale move into numbers that I haven't seen in years. I was shocked. And many people end up losing about 10 pounds on this program. It's easy to see why, because even though you're filling your plate full of food, it's usually only around two to 300 calories. So your calorie count is significantly lower. This is not a plan that you should be doing long-term. This is just a short term thing that you can do to kind of reset your habits. Now, the third lesson I learned was the cravings. The emotional battle that I had to deal with through my mind was was something that I wasn't prepared for. It's interesting that when you are eating and you're constantly full, you kind of have to stop and ask yourself, 
why am I craving this food? What is it that I'm trying to solve through food right now that I need? Or what type of joy am I reaching out for that maybe could be served better with another deeper joy? It was interesting because a lot of times I usually fall into cravings because I'm hungry, but to actually not be hungry and then have to look at my cravings face on and ask myself, why am I craving this? Because I'm not hungry. It was so good for me emotionally, just to fight that emotionally eating that I was surprised I actually struggled with more than I was aware. Now, the fourth thing that I learned that surprised me was my habits. I have been doing the same thing for years without even really realizing it. And doing this potato challenge forced me to reset my habits. Usually around three or four o'clock, I grab a little bit of chocolate or at night after my kids go to bed, I grab a little treat and forcing me out of those habits was so good for me mentally and physically because it's so easy to overeat when you're just used to doing it out of habit. It was a great reset that I suggest everyone do just for that alone. And my fifth lesson really surprised me how easy it is to just overeat, just to eat, to eat because we like to eat even eating plant-based foods. Now on our plant-based journey, we first lost a lot of weight, but then the weight loss kind of tapered out over time because we started really enjoying all of the amazing plant-based dishes there are for us to taste, right? They're so good and so yummy. With that, you can easily overeat even if it's healthy plant-based foods. So doing a potato challenge was so good to help reset that and make me change my habits later on. In fact, since this has stopped, I've been amazed that I have stopped eating as much food overall because of that reset I got during the 10 day challenge. Now, if you're going to do this Mary's mini challenge, I have a couple of warnings for you. Number one, the first couple of days are kind of rough. <laughs> the first day is fine, but after that you start usually having sugar withdrawals. If you are a caffeine drinker, I've heard that people have caffeine withdrawals. I mean, you're going to struggle the first couple of days. So drink a lot of water to help you through that difficult time. You also may feel a little fatigued because you're eating a lot less calories and your body's going to notice that and feel that. So fatigue is also another symptom. And ironically, you may be so full off of these meals that you may want to skip a meal. And so my last suggestion is don't skip meals. <laughs> don't do it. Even if you're full, you're not hungry because potatoes are so satiating, but still plan on eating three square meals a day and that will help you so you don't overeat or go crazy later on. We don't want to binge afterwards. And then when you're done with this potato challenge, you want to slowly ease back into your normal day-to-day -day life. The Mary's Mini is a great habit reset, but we don't want to swing from one pendulum end to the other, right? So when you come off, you want to just slowly ease back into your day-to-day -day life and take what you've learned, apply it so that you can be a better plant-based vegan eater from here on out. So if you decide to do a Mary's Mini, good luck to you. It is called a challenge for a reason. It is very difficult for 10 days, but it's only 10 days to two weeks where you can just really reset your life, simplify your meals, feel full off of the basics, and you may even lose weight in the process. With this, know that it is not how you should be eating every day. And in fact, some people only do a Mary's Mini about quarterly, sometimes once a month, but in general, it's not something that you need to be doing often, unless you feel like you need a good habit reset. Good luck to you, you can do this. I'm excited to hear you learn. Make sure to leave comments below on if you've tried a Mary's Mini, what you learned from it, what you've gained and how you did it and any recipes that you loved. I want this to be a community where we can all share the best parts and the worst parts of the Mary's Mini so that we can all learn from it, just like you were able to learn today. All right, good luck.